was so interesting to me, you were telling me a little bit before the show that the new presses they're coming out with are not nearly as aesthetically pleasing as these older ones. I, I, don't, I don't think so. They are a little copper look, uh, like, and with a little duck feet. It's all tacky. And so yeah, terrible. It's, it's, it's terribly not, tacky. Nothing like this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today I'm joined by Olivier de Saint-Martin of Caribou Cafe and Justin Bennett, chef de cuisine at Zinc Restaurant. And of course we have with us Chef Erica, mm -hmm. a uh, soon to be graduate of the restaurant school, which we are enjoying a wonderful relationship with in advancing culinary knowledge and education. So today is gonna to be a very exciting learning day on the Chef's Kitchen because not only do we have an exemplary French chef with us, we have a piece of equipment that's actually dates back to the 1870s, is that correct? This one, yes. This is a duck press. This is a duck press. Now, tell me a little bit about this. Okay, uh, duck press, well, I didn't make anything new. This is a thing that they were, the dish that they were doing about uh, 200 years ago. And uh, the hunters were uh, wi uh, hunting wild ducks. Wild ducks. And then they, they wanted all the flavor out of this duck. So they used to roast them barely, nice and uh, rare. They used all the, uh, the bones to make the sauce. So they put all the bones uh, in, uh, into this press. Uh, press it, uh, and the the juice coming out of uh, the the press will do the sauce. The it's pure, sauce. flavorful. You don't uh, have to add. There anything. is nothing to add on. It's just the the the, the juices, natural juices of the duck. Classic old world technique. Absolutely. Yes. So now I know it's it's important for us to get that duck into yeah, the oven. Yeah, it would be correct? good to put in the oven. Yes. Yeah, that would be a nice <laughs> idea, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what's first, chef? Okay. Well, uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, as you see, that's a very small duck because yes. they're wild, so they don't they have about none how many pounds would you say? Uh, this one is about two and a quarter, uh, two and three quarter pounds. Okay. okay. And we keep everything inside. This is very important to get to retain all the juices. Okay. All of the organs. Right. And okay. what we want to do, we want to. Uh, Season it very well, just like you would do with any kind of fowl mm -hmm. or game or whatever. So just Look, salt and pepper. There you go. So we want to take a piece of string like this and just tie Cross it up, it? tie it up a little bit like that. Nothing, oh, I see. nothing comes out. Because it's important to keep all of the all the flavor inside. inside. Yeah. We, we probably don't need oil, but I'll put a little bit just okay. because I don't want to burn the duck. So you hit the pan. Nice hot pan. All right. And what we do, we, we're going to pan seal one side first. Okay. Uh, for about uh, three or four minutes. Then we put the other side and then put it in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. Okay. So it seems very, very, very low for you guys, but we want it this. It does seem low. But we want to, the, the, the breast to be still rare. We're going to finish them in the pan separately. Okay. But we need all the uh, natural juices to stay the way they are to be able to extract them from the press. So we're going to par cook, first we're going to get a nice sear right. on the outside. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to par cook it Correct. in the oven. Yes. We're not going to cook the breast full because no. we're going to finish doing some other interesting things to the duck after that. How do you oh, know this? this? Is, oh, this is, you just taught me. You're a wonderful right. teacher. But it's so interesting. That this, this is done. And this, this, we should all also say, this is the only place you can get or car is it caribou? Uh, or this one we do this? it at zinc. At zinc. Yeah. You're the only place, and certainly in Philadelphia, and like maybe one of three places in the entire country, that's, yeah, that's where we can get you. duck press. That's right. This way. Absolutely. So this is really unique. Unique. Huh? And classic. You go at the back same time. 200 years, in a, in a, and you, you come to the restaurant. You go back 200 years. That's and wonderful. You were even telling me, even in Paris, they're not not every bistro. Uh, or cafe does this. It's just a few who maybe have this piece of equipment. Well, the thing, uh, yeah, because this. The, this this specialty has been uh, created in Normandy. Yes. Because the the, the duck, uh, the breed of the duck is a Normandy duck. The capital of Normandy being Rouen. Rouen. Uh, uh, in Rouen, you still find a duck press or a restaurant that will do duck press because they're so proud of their heritage yes. that they're still doing they it. They want to continue it. And of course in Paris, you have the famous La Tour d'Argent, who does the duck uh, since uh, about 100 years. Very, very famous, exclusive restaurant in oh, absolutely. Paris. Absolutely, everybody knows that uh, restaurant. All right, so this is, see, you want a nice crisp on one side, you want a nice crisp on the other side, you put it on the back and then forget it in the oven for okay. like a, a four, 13 four to one. 16 minutes Yeah, depending seven. on the size, yeah. Don't go away, we'll be right back. We now return to the chef's kitchen. This fascinating technique 
Uh, how, did you learn about this at the restaurant school? You're familiar with this yeah. kind of technique? Of Usually we um, cook the duck one low, just like to render out some of the fats, but I've never ever seen that machine before. Yes, this That's is awesome. very, very, this is a real treat for us yeah. here, the chef that you brought some this. Some people might think we do that with a live duck, but we don't. It's not with torture. A live okay? duck. <laughs> it's not torture. <laughs> You have a backyard that's full of, you know, yeah, dogs. Exactly, and yeah, exactly, yeah. All right, so uh, like all, you know, like I said uh, before uh, on this show, the French cuisine is all about patience and reduction and stuff like that. It's very important to give a nice sear on this, not to rush it in the oven. Yes. Because uh, we want that breast, uh, we want to be able to eat that skin of the breast. It smells wonderful. And that's ready to be put in the oven. Okay, okay. and so you keep it right in the same pan then? Yeah, in the same pan. Mm -hmm. Justin and Erica, you have... Uh, slice up some onion for mm -hmm. us. We're going to start making the onion confit. Onion confit. Which goes into the Leonese potatoes, which are served with the duck. Very nice. This is just some maybe unsalted butter, right? Mm hmm. Always. Okay. Okay. So the onion's going. I'll take a mixture half red wine vinegar and half red wine. Okay. Right into the pan, let that reduce. Is there reasoning behind the mixture of the two? Is it just to, for flavor? It's, it's a, we want to, we're going to add a honey at the end to caramelize them. Ah. So that's for the sweet and sour. Sweet and, and sour. And the, the red wine give the nice coloration to it. Okay, very good. Yeah, when, when, they, when they're finished, uh, they're usually very dark, deep red. Mm. I mean, we start with a white product and, it, ended and, up and to, it ends up deep yeah, yeah, red. It's really, really intense. It's very good. And then we'll cut up the potatoes, which we're going to saute in a little bit of duck fat. Okay, oh, and some duck fat. Very yeah, nice. As well. Mar uh, Mar uh, Mar uh, it's duck day. Exactly. In the duck day. kitchen, right? It's actually less uh, saturated fat in a duck fat than olive oil. Do you know that? Really? Yes. It's a very good fat for you, duck fat. That if, for me or for everyone? For me right? and you. For me and you, right? <laughs> That's very good to know that. I did not see? know that. Yeah, well, yeah, duck fat is, it's becoming more prominent. You duck fat fries and, and you see duck yes, fat being mm -hmm. used in more dishes. That's correct, yeah. So that's good to know. And flavorful. Oh, that best not, part not of it is the flavor. Not to talk about flavor, yeah. So zinc is actually where you serve this particular dish. That's correct. And mm -hmm. it's, 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 there's a lot of, you know, pre preparation involved. So you have to call, is it 48 hours in advance? Well, uh, yeah, the ducks are, uh, are uh, um, killed on demand. So yes. two days before I called the farm, they, uh, they do what they have to do with the duck. They send it to us. And then uh, we have a fresh uh, duck uh, for the customer. It, it, we serve that for two people, OK? Because it's a, it's, it's a small duck, but these still two. it's for two people. Yeah. OK, so these are, these are customized made to order. Exactly. Ducks. Yeah, just call and uh, we'll do it. I love how in your beasters and your cafes, you, you, one of your mantras is that it's not, it's not stuffy, pretentious food. It's food for everyone. And, and that's what you said, a true French cafe is supposed to be like. Right, we're not even rude. You're not even rude? No, it's, oh a, my it's goodness, a real it's French true. restaurant. I've always been treated so nicely when I think to your <laughs> restaurant. There's a reason for that, exactly. isn't there? Exactly. <laughs> but it, it's the truth. It, it, it's very approachable food, very comfortable food, and a lot of it is, is probably from your, you grew up in Champagne, right? That's correct. And a lot of the food that you grew up with, you bring to your bistros and cafes? Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Well, the, the good thing in France, so I mean, we have a 16 to 20 regions, and, and every region is different. Yes. But I love to, since I uh, apprentice uh, in all the region, I like to take a little bit of each uh, region and do something at the restaurant. That's wonderful. So you give us a little bit of, of all of France. Right. So now our onions are cooking down, mm -hmm. and our beautiful red wine and red liquid wine, there. Red wine vinegar. Give it some acidity. Now, do you cook a lot of these uh, dishes at yes. the restaurant? So they're, they're be increasingly popular. Every, every week there's, there's another one. As people become educated. Yeah. And is this, this is the press that's at zinc. Oh, yes, yes. This is the one that you use. Right. And it's really a relic, right? Yes. I mean, it's an antique, 1870. So that's something no, to be said for this. It's this, a very this, interesting piece of equipment. This is the, the, the nice thing about this. Uh, uh, this press is about 150 years old, and they already knew that in, uh, 150 years ago that uh, the, uh, the canister needs to be made out of stainless steel, yes. like that it doesn't rust, it doesn't give any uh, real taste to the uh, to the uh, to the to sauce. The, so, right. So this is a this well, is a nice piece. You told me too. It's uh, actually jewelers and watchmakers that made these presses. That's right. In the old days, that's what. They, yeah, they they used to make that. That's why it looks like a piece of jewelry. It does bit. look. It's very decorated. It's. Oh, I'm gonna go get my does, duck. Does Christoph make that? Uh, <laughs> you wish, yeah. <laughs> we can ask, right? So, you think our duck is finished? 
Oh, yeah. It smells very, very good. Yeah, this one is... Uh... All right, so you see, it's crisp, even more crispy. Yes. It's nice and tight. But it's not completely cooked. It's not completely cooked. Which is what we want. Right. We'll be right back. We now return to the chef's kitchen. That's the fat we use for the potato, by the way. So we're saving everything. I love how we're saving everything. Discard nothing. And uh, You're going to actually take apart the legs and the breast from the duck. Is that right? Right. The legs are not fully cooked. So what we do with the leg, we take them out. Right. And we're going to put them on a grill for another 20, 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I hate to say exactly how much because uh, in France, we say, well, you take it off when it's cooked. When it's cooked, that's right. Another chef just told me that very See? recently, and you have to have a feel for yeah. what you're doing. It has yeah, to be I mean, an instinctive... Everything is different. Every oven is different. So all these legs and the, uh, the wings, we're going to put them on the grill for about 20 minutes, 15, okay, 20 minutes. Very good. I love hearing all of your stories about France and, and about the different regions. You have such a wealth of, of knowledge. And interestingly, the restaurant school, as a student there, one of the perks is that you get to take a trip to France um, and explore. And actually, you accompany many of the students. You just got back from a trip I with a bunch back, of yeah. students from their restaurant school. Yeah, it was beautiful. School. We, we, I, we had 32 students, and we went to Champagne, my, my uh, my, uh, Your hometown? My hometown. Yes. And then we went to Burgundy, and, uh, and uh, then we went back to Auxerre, visit Duck Farm and everything. It was really, really That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah. So you're a teacher as well, and I'm sure the oh, students... I love to go there and tell them uh, why we do this uh, this way, how we grew up, why uh, food is so important in France. Yes. And uh, All right, so you see you have your breast. Yes. Pretty raw, okay? Pretty raw. No problem. We're just going to put it back in the pan here. And uh, this carcass here, what we do, we take a kitchen shear, already okay. put every, everything that was inside, I already put it in the canister so you, here. Okay, so all of the, ins the organs. Right. The neck and everything, everything is in there. You're cutting it all down so it fits in that canister. And look, voila. Hey, voila. It fits perfectly. So now, oh, now the fun begins. Now the fun's begin. This is almost like a ride at an yeah. amusement park. So in the beginning, <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. So, so now as we, as we turn, it's, it's slowly pressing. Yeah, you'll see the, the juices. Start. Here oh, you go. here we go. Here we go, the juices. And here's our juices being pressed out. And this is pure duck juice. Yep. How beautiful these juices. How, how hard is that to it, I mean, is it uh, pretty? Well, you can try, but when you reach like, the I don't end, have much faith in you. You, come on. <laughs> yes. No, it's pretty, it's hard to do this. I mean, it's yeah. not. So at the end, yeah, it's pretty. Especially well, you know. at the end. Of course, I asked at the end. All right, yeah. so what we're going to do is this little. Uh, but a significant amount of juice does, uh, does no, come yeah. out. Yeah. So what we want to do is this two little uh, thing here. We want to give them a little extra test. So we have a little brandy. Oh, very nice. Could you even use cognac maybe in that? Yeah, that, that's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. So cognac, like, yeah. Yeah, I call it brandy it? because... Uh, As we cook down the alcohol. Right. And then that, that finish the uh, cooking of the breast. We put everything from the thing in the sauce. So I put a little chicken stock in there or veal stock, whatever you have, just to make the sauce a little bit... Uh, a little bit richer? Not richer, just a little bit more. Okay. Just in case the... The, uh, the, the, the duck doesn't have enough juice for two, two servings, but and that's plenty here. And so our potatoes? Potatoes are almost done. Almost done. Just mixing a little our bit. Onions are indeed done. Of butter into the onions. So you're adding some more butter at the end. Just incorporating it. Okay. You want to take it off the heat so that it just incorporates it, it doesn't melt. It doesn't melt it. And okay. then we're going to add the onions right into the potatoes. Oh, okay, very good. So it finishes cooking all in this mm -hmm. pan there. I'm, I'm going to let that reduce a little bit more. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start slicing the duck. You see how the rare it is? I mean, medium rare, it's perfect. Medium rare on the inside. Right. And it really was a short time that it cooked in the pan. Absolutely, yeah. It's a, well, there is no fat. So uh, you when you cook uh, something like that, it's just yes. going to be the, the meat. And uh, that's why it's cooked so fast. Okay, and so our potatoes, potatoes are, are looking done. wonderful here. We You've incorporated the onion. Nice parsley. Right at the end, make it nice and green. Very good. 
Is this, a, is this a typical accompaniment to this dish in France? Uh, not really, no. I don't know what the, well, every restaurant may uh, accompany the, uh, the dish uh, with whatever they want. Mm -hmm. I, I do that because I think uh, I'm always like, a, I'm, I'm come from the farmland. So yes. potato, onions, beets, uh, all the yes. roast vegetables, that's my life. So I like that. Everybody likes potato, everybody likes onions. We just give a little touch, a special touch because it's caramelized onions. Mm -hmm. But it looks wonderful and it goes perfectly with, the, with this. So. All right, so now, see, you see the... All the, the sauce is really coming together. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to But it definitely switch. needs to be strained, yeah. See the remaining in, in yes. this? So this is, uh, this is what's going to make the sauce. Oh, this is, okay, so we're right. still using this pan then. No, no, we're not going to use it, but I mean, this is what I'm this pressing. This is what you're yeah, making the sauce exactly. with, okay. Yeah. And this is this very is important to... Uh, to get all the stuff. Okay. And then you can make uh, two plates for me if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have a salad. Yes, this is a salad that's served with the legs and the wings. Okay. And there's it's just a, a, frise, arugula, endive, and our house dressing, which is a lemon vinaigrette. Lemon vinaigrette, okay, so very simple. Mm -hmm. Nice fresh and green though. One thing, you, uh, what we do at the restaurant, because uh, this, uh, this duck, uh, we serve the, the breast with the potatoes and the onions, mm -hmm. but uh, what about the legs and the wings? Yeah, I was going to ask right. about so them. So they're still on right the grill here. cooking. So the people usually eat the breast and the potato, and once they finish that, then the second service come with the salad, the leg, and the wing. Oh, I see. So it, it, is this traditional also? Uh, absolutely. Two How service duck. Yeah, so we call two that. Two service yeah. duck. Mm -hmm. So first you get to enjoy the breast, which is rich, and then right. you get to really have fun with the wings and, and yeah, the legs. Don't go away, we'll be right back. We now return to the chef's kitchen. And then uh, you can finish the salad. And we mix the salad by hand. Okay. So again, I, I make sure that uh, everybody knows that I, I don't put any butter. Usually, usually in those sauces, we would do uh, these nowadays. Always finished days. with butter. Finished butter or, uh, and, uh, or cream. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't need anything. It'll, it'll be just perfect the way it is. That's true. We have to note that, that there's no, it's just, I know, it's it's just, just, just the uh, rich as, uh, yep. And so now you're yeah, removing the good. meat. Mm -hmm. Well, what we do is we joint the legs. Okay. So you have the thigh. Your leg. That was three pieces. Okay. Okay. There's one. Okay, so it's three pieces on each plate. So you cut right through the joint? Mm-hmm. This is a lot of food. I know. I, I, Two uh, servings. That little duck. It will roll us out of your restaurant. What is the cost of this meal? Uh, I, we sell it for, uh, what, 70 f for two 70. people. And that's yeah. for two people? Yeah. That really is a bargain, though. I mean, two people, this is a tremendous oh, amount of food. You said it. I didn't say it. Well, I said it. I mean, to <laughs> me, it is. It's, and, and to be cooked in this kind of classical technique, such preparation, are we ready to taste? Uh, almost. Almost. Our sauce is almost ready. Right. So we're just looking for this to reduce out a bit to intensify the flavors. Right. Of a nice meal. Mm. God, I can't wait to taste that. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so then you have a, a traditional, uh, we're going to finish with the sauce, which I, I have some, uh, one thing to say about it. So uh, traditional potatoes with yes. onions, duck breast with the skin on. There is no fat between the skin and, and, the, and the duck because no. it's, a, it's a wild duck. And this little uh, finishing, this is, yeah, like you said, this is a little treat, you know, you can uh, use your finger. Of course, we go to the restaurant, so you can use your finger. You're paying, so you do whatever We're you want, <laughs> right? And how is our sauce? All right, ready? our sauce is uh, ready, and uh, you really have to wait uh, the, this moment where the sauce is uh, ready to be, uh, you know, the right consistency. If not, you're just messing up everything you, you did so far. Okay, so you have right? to have patience. Patience is the key. Look at this sauce. This is That's what we call a sieve sauce, okay? Sieve sauce, sauce is a sauce that is... Uh, thickens with uh, the uh, the blood. When you're going to test that, don't fake it, don't put the big how, but just tell me the truth. You go ahead. <laughs> All right, to me, I to like me, this. The just pressure the smell is to me is just uh, I think everyone should really taste it. Here we go. Have a nice fork and we can Thank enjoy. You. Chef, are you going to? Absolutely, to yes. Yes, and don't fake it, Chef. I uh -oh. want you to give us a real. <laughs> it's already in me. Okay, now this is good. Now I am already a duck lover, so. All of that beautiful juice. Yeah, that, that sauce is, um, you can buy that. 
I mean, you buy it, I think, but you can buy it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good, isn't it? Don't fake it. That's excellent. That isn't is it? excellent. I mean, most of the people who are zinc, I mean, uh, it, it are just amazed the way uh, everything comes the along. It's very it's pure. Our, it's very clean. It's a show. It's very uh, true. No butter, no, no fat, nothing. It's just and it doesn't need it. It's a, it's a right. rich sauce. It's beautiful. It really Great. is. I think we need to taste a little bit of this nice. Well, use your finger if you. Use my. Oh, oh yeah, I'm that's... glad you said that because I was. It's like a chicken wing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a duck wing. Mm. Crispy. Crispy. Wonderful. Yeah. This is a tremendous amount of food. So this you can drink that with a, 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 a wine, a mm -hmm. little bit hearty, maybe mm -hmm. uh, like uh, something uh, from the uh, like Madiran or Cahors or mm -hmm. Corbière, something hearty. Something to stand up. Uh, yes. these, are, these are deep, earthy flavors. Exactly. So something to stand up to yeah. that. What a wonderfully interesting educational to, uh, day today was today. Caribou Cafe. Zinc restaurant, we can call ahead to Absolutely. order our duck a la press. Mm -hmm. Great day of learning. Absolutely. And you could attest to that too. Yeah. Very, very exciting to have Thank you, you all Thank you. on. It's great. Great day at the Chef's Kitchen. Thank you all very Thank you. much. Thank you. The Restaurant School is the exclusive partner of the Chef's Kitchen for the education and training in the culinary arts. Breakfast provided by Lava Cafe. Lunch provided by Cafe Estelle. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, the Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs, such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark, as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants, or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe. Well, today my experience in the chef's kitchen was uh, great because I got the, the chance to do exactly what I grew up with uh, from France. I like to show uh, the real cooking. There is no, no fake, uh, no fakeness to it. It's just the pure, real uh, cooking from the earth, from the terroir. And I love to do that on the chef's kitchen.